Okay, so the car that I just filmed, um, it stopped right in front of my car. So let's see what they're gonna say. There's so much wind, my hands are frozen, so let's first warm up a bit. A short while ago I decided to go for organic plant-based soap, it's called Marcel's Green Soap and it says right over here, one, it smells wonderfully, two, it works fantastic and three, it's eco-friendly so it is plant-based, so good for nature. Cheers, buddy. You look tired, boy. So yeah, buddy is a very talkative dog. He likes to speak. I think he's a bit bored. I'm not really sure. We'll have some playtime. <laughs> Very nice weather out today. So we have two different kinds of yogurt today. This is coconut yogurt, which is super good. Love coconut, and then I've got soy um, blueberry yogurt as well. And then there's a couple of things that I always add to my yogurt: blueberries, goji berries, chia seeds, coconut flakes, 
Whoops, and Buddy also loves these things. And then I've got some crushed almonds, which I also love, and it really adds some nice flavor. Plus, homemade. It's not, it doesn't look like homemade, but I actually mix these two up. So there's premium granola and um, homemade granola for my parents. It's super, super delicious. And that is the topping. So that is my daily breakfast. Mm -mm -mm. So currently I'm doing a social media detox, um, which basically means that I'm off Instagram and Facebook. I thought, okay, why am I wasting so much time just scrolling, looking for this mini dopamine hit? And once I get it, you just continue scrolling. What's the point of it? So um, I decided to just quit it. I still have the apps on my phone, but I just don't touch them. And still, even two to three weeks later, I noticed that my thumb every now and then just wants to go to the social media folder. It's crazy. It's just like this crazy addictive habit or something. But since uh, this social media detox, I have so much more time to pursue creative things like making these kind of videos or... Yeah, and regarding these videos, there's still so much to learn. I tried to get inspired by Jonathan Jensch or Jonathan Jensch. I'm not even sure how to pronounce his name. He's a guy from America and he makes super awesome cinematic uh, truck camper life videos that I would love to, yeah, not recreate, but let's say get inspired by. Also, I'm currently doing a monthly course by Casey Neistat um, just to improve my storytelling and to improve my filmmaking. That is quite motivating. I hope to learn a lot more, of course, editing wise, filming wise, also storytelling wise. I just want to become a better storyteller to document this fun lifestyle that I have with my dog, with my camper, um, just roaming around, enjoying freedom, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's what we are um, we're aiming for. Okay, so the car that I just filmed, um, it stopped right in front of my car. So they're probably going to say something. So let's see what they're going to say. Wacht even, Buddy. Hey, Yogi. Wacht eens even, jij. Goedendag. Waar komen de staaggelden in? 140 euro. Voor de overnachting zo. 140 euro? Ja. Wil die even rustig, Jochie? Hey. Ja, we moeten baasje toch beschermen. Ja, dat moet hij zeker. Dat doet hij ook heel goed. Alleen, uh, ja, hij weet dat hij niet mag overnachten um, Nou ja, dat is wel uh, enigszins bekend. Ja. Ja. Als we uh, de s'nachts zien, dan krijgt u een uh, bekeuring. Dan, we hebben nu niet kunnen constateren dat u er overnacht hebt. Oké. Okay. Maar u even kijken, hier staat alles in. Dus, uh, oh. Mag ik hem kan ik hem aan? Ja, dat is goed wel. Hij doet ja, niet zoveel. Ik vraag het altijd even. Hey, Heel man. netjes. Hey. Zo, nou is het goed. Ja. Dus okay. uh, een waarschuwing voor, de, voor nu. Ja, voor nu wel, ja. Oké, okay, dan. <laughs> nee, helemaal top. Nou, dan zorg ik dat ik uh, vanavond hier niet meer sta, want uh, dat zou zonde zijn voor mijn ja. spaarcenten. Ja, nou ja, daar is het. Wij hebben dus geen scheren die staan gelden. Maar dat is, als we betrappen, dan is het 140 euro boete. Dus dat is zonde geld. Snap ik. Goed, oké, okay, dan. Fijne dag. Ja, hetzelfde. Okay, so there was the security and um, they just told me, okay, if you stay here overnight, you'll get a fine of 140 euros. There's the, oops, there's the document. So the letter reads, welcome to Bergen and we hope you will have a nice day here. You being the owner or user of a car, camper, tent, etc. should know that it isn't allowed to stay or spend the night inside your vehicle or tent on public grounds in these villages. For information about the many campings in the area, please check the internet. The police checks regular. A ticket expense 140 euros. Which is super expensive, obviously. It was pretty funny because Buddy was going mental. Um, yeah, basically when anybody knocks on my door, my uh, guard dog is just barking and going banana. So it was just a warning. Yes, we got a warning. 
It was just a warning this time. They said if you're here tonight, you'll get the fine of 140 euros. Yeah, you don't like it, no? It's very expensive. Yes, it's very expensive. You also don't like these people, huh? No. <laughs> Anyways, now the weather is amazing again, so before we leave, we definitely gotta skate. Let's go! Apparently Buddy doesn't like it when I go skating, so maybe we should just go for a walk. are shot on the Sandmark tripod compact edition. It is an amazing tripod, it is super sturdy. It has a super steady ball head, which can carry up to three kilograms. So I can also carry my mirrorless camera. Especially useful, of course, when you're a solo traveler and content creator. Also an amazing thing of this tripod is that it comes with a phone mount. It is spring loaded, so I can turn this thing around, flip it upside down, without having to be scared that my phone will fall out. It's very nice to have this good tripod especially for a beginner filmmaker like myself so thank you so much Sandmark for sending this one out to me um, yeah I'm super super happy about this this video was not sponsored but Sandmark did send out this tripod to me to review and um, yeah see the results for yourself So after spending so many nights here at Harge, almost three months now I think, which is a very good amount of time, the police finally came and they warned me that they would fine me 140 euros if I wouldn't leave before tonight. So it's time for new adventures. I hope you enjoyed the video. At least I had a lot of fun creating it. Thanks once again Sandmark for sending me this tripod. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing because I'm planning to create way more videos like these just because I love this filmmaking thing and um, yeah I want to document my fun adventurous lifestyle so thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope to see you in the next one <laughs>